Too many lights. Ooh, including this new one. I like that. Okie dokie. today um, well I've got some knife related stuff we're gonna get to in a minute but first uh, I've got to fix this thing this is my wife's candy thermometer and she was making yogurt last night and it fell into the sink but I also have to fix my heat gun uh, the cord is I had a cord off of my shop vac that I saved and I'm gonna put that onto here and uh, hopefully this isn't too bad a lot of these cheap junky things when you open them up they're really not that serviceable so i'm hoping once i open this up i can just put a new cord on it fix this so i can fix this check that out they used a little they used a little terminal block with screws so i only have to go to here i can leave all this alone i was not expecting that that's awesome Moment of truth. First fix, done. So, William Sonoma Candy Thermometer. Obviously this didn't protect it that well. You know, when you're fixing stuff, it's uh, you just have to look at it like this. It's broken anyways, like this thing's completely wet, doesn't work. So diving in and taking it apart, really I don't, I don't think it ever does any harm. Obviously make sure whatever you're taking apart is de-energized. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Uh, maybe we'll try putting the cables down into here. Oh, just broke this probe. Okay, so I soldered that. Hopefully that one doesn't break. Put this silly silicone backer on here. This is our idea of protecting the circuitry. And voila. Cool. All right, so now we got those two repairs done. We can get to some knife making. Okay, this is a weird one. I'm gonna do a little more work on this weird knife thing. working on here um, <clears throat> I did a full flat grind on this knife and this is the first time I've ever done a full flat grind and it actually turned out pretty good um, but I wanted to try this weird texturing thing my idea behind this knife was something like a picnic knife I guess maybe something that would be awesome to take with you when you go on a hike to cut up your like sausage and cheese for lunch so uh, I just need to finish the sanding on this uh, put a little uh, better finish on it let me do a close-up here it's just kind of odd bounce is not too bad it's not perfect but it's pretty good and uh, I don't know we'll see I'm probably gonna hit it up with an acid wash 
and kind of go from there. So right now I just need to sand off these, uh, just put a slightly better finish here where I accidentally touched it with the grinder and stuff. Super duper sanding block, Windex. Get the GoPro going because I'm probably doing a build video on this one as well. There it is. Okay, so we got the uh, oven heating up. I'm gonna get ready to heat treat this blade. And I'm gonna jump onto a couple other outstanding knife projects. <laughs> First blade out of the uh, first temper cycle, just letting it air cool till I do my second temper cycle. And uh, this knife that I put the Danish oil on earlier this morning, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a bit of a buff and kind of bring a little luster back. And then uh, we got really good light outside right now, so I'm gonna uh, set up like a little photo tent thing and take some pictures, hopefully get this listed on the website. Now, I did do a video on this knife. Most knives I don't do videos of, but with this one what I wanted to try and do was just that different uh, plunge line, that slanted plunge line. And I think it turned out pretty good, I quite like it. Uh, Coco Bolo handles and then some nice pins. I like those pins, I think they look pretty good. And then also I did a fairly heavily contoured handle. This is actually a really, really comfortable little blade. Just supposed to be like a small bushcraft type knife, something like that. some props and we'll probably take the knife right here and shoot it this way and hopefully that will be the only thing we get we shouldn't get the back the black in the background I hope <music> Nice little scene we created. Got a little light tent just to soften everything. And in and out of clouds, so I'm just playing with my exposure. Shoot fully manual. Um, it, it helps that I was, uh, yeah, never mind. So we've got the great snow melt going on right now. And we get these big puddles everywhere. So I gotta go grab a pump and we're gonna pump this out into the field. up there uh, time to head in gotta take my daughter to dance and uh, yeah thanks for joining guys cheers